Hello guys, thank you for watching One Links Vlog. My name is Iman Asif. Today I'm gonna show you how to design print ready business card. We can draw it by using different software like Adobe Photoshop, Coral Draw. But in this video, I'm gonna use Adobe Illustrator CS664 bit. First of all, I'm gonna show you which type of business card we will design so uh, uh, this card we will design this card this is fancy gold plated business card here you can write your name or your company name here is your other details to design this card first of all we're gonna double tap on Adobe Illustrator and wait for it to get started Okay guys, I want to tell you some basic things like before starting of a new file or new project, we will have to keep in mind some things like bleed, bleed area, how much bleed area we're gonna give to our design. This depends on printer. This depends on the printer we're gonna print it. All printers have different settings. It's better if you if you contact your printer and ask about these things first of all go on new file this will look gonna pop up one dialog box in this the name and number of words like two because we are making a business card front and back both now here is the width basically in if we see journal in general the business card is the size the width is 88 millimeter and height is 55 so we select here millimeter we add values 88 then we add the height 55 now now comes bleed bleed is the area all on all four sides of a card so it it gives the printer the area to cut it we do bleed because we don't want our logo or our name to get cut okay so we will add bleed 3 mm on the whole side press ok now now this is your layout first of all what we're gonna do select rectangle tool and add one rectangle as the same size of your business card another one rectangle tool here okay now other thing is we need one another rectangle tool for for the back let's see the card again on the front we just need our name on the back we need this gold plated okay if this is our bag we will draw one rectangle tool here it depends on you how much bigger you want it Make it big smaller okay now I think this we we don't need now this time we don't need this rectangle too so we will treat it first of all the background is black so we, we, we have different kinds of blacks a warm black or a cool black let me show you some some black colors okay this is cmyk values for some black colors now first of all what you see is a warm black if you add warm black it's gonna cost you much because it's gonna consume a lot of ink now here this is standard black standard black it's gonna consume very less bit and it's it's good for normal designing but in this card we're gonna use cool black now you see value of CMYK is 600000. So we're gonna add this value here. This background we need black. So double tap on white color. Add CMYK values 600000. This black. This black we're gonna need. Now again here we also need this black. Again double tap. 
head value of CMYK 60, 0, 0, 100. Now, do we have cool black on a back side? The next thing is we're going to add our company name here and company details here. Okay, this business card is very simple, it, it, it does not have any logos. So, first of all, we're going to do we're going to write our company name. We select a tech type tool and we will type here. Let's change this value so we can see it any value for this time any value any color one link we looks this is suppose our company name but in the in the center we have to increase little size we go on size box let's say is make it 30 30 oh, 30 is very big make it 20 Okay, make it 20. Now put it in center. Uh, here, it's okay. Now, now, now we will add, change the color into gold plated. Now, for gold plated, I also have some, some CMYK colors to show you which one gold. We're gonna use okay here you have some colors with CM CMYK values we're gonna select one color and we're gonna add it there okay here the maybe this is another language so we select 0 30 100 and 0 this is gold color 0 30 0 100 uh, no, 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 no. Yes. sorry guys little okay I'm gonna select 0 30 90 10. okay zero thirty ninety ten okay this is now the gold color we have how we can make it gold plated I will show you later on now what now what we need now what we need we need to add a gold plated backside of of a card okay now you add this now to change this color we're gonna remember 039. Okay. To change this color, we're gonna add gold plating. 0, 30, 90, Okay, fine. Okay, now this is our gold color. Now the main thing is you we have to make it look like a gold plated so what we do what we'll do we will select our area we'll go here in effect go down artistic and select color pencil it's gonna show us all effects now this one no we're gonna add film grain press okay now this one now it's look like a gold plated again for this we're gonna add facts artistic color plated and we're gonna select film grain let's okay now it looked like a gold plated card now now here we're gonna add our text for example a name of company CEO is it AMN ASIF Little down, okay. Yes, I have make it a little smaller, for example, make it 15. Okay, now, and that's how we need 
to write uh, a designation for example it is okay for is for this we make it a little more small okay, then or maybe uh, seven okay now after this we're gonna add our company details one link v logs logs now we're gonna write our email address and the mn sif ready to add the rate of yahoo.com i'm gonna add our channel name what is my channel name by the way i'm gonna copy my channel name and i'm gonna add it here control v this is my youtube channel name i look i know this little creepy but this channel is very old when i was a kid so i make this username so i'm gonna make it a little big okay Sorry guys. Okay. Now here we make it a little bold. Select all and from here you can select bold. Okay. Now these two we're gonna make it smaller like designation here. The initial was seven zero seven. Okay, now before this we're gonna write email channel I'm gonna hide like bold this one it's like this select bold here we're gonna bold email select bold okay guys I'm not using shortcuts because here I want to show you how we can select all from the menu bar if I use shortcuts, you're gonna understand what keys I am using. So select tool, we make it uh, right down of my name. We make it a little bigger. Okay, this is this card is ready. Now the main another thing what we're gonna do, we will add a white background on the bleed area. We're gonna add two rectangle tools no problem no problem it's all get at the same size of bleed we're gonna add select tool select this one and object transform arrange send to back and now we're gonna change it to white okay now again we're gonna select it object arrange send to back change color to white it's gonna make easier for printer to understand the part of your business card and the part of bleed okay now we're gonna export this file file export for print ready Export. We can change color. Uh, like just. It depends. Now, guys, it also depends on your printer setting. If they accept JPEG, you're gonna export it on JPEG. Make it a bit larger. Larger to ten. Remaining setting you're gonna you, you're not gonna change it. You don't need to change it. That's okay. 